Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I will be showing y'all how to make this DIY outdoor cat enclosure. So my cat is an indoor cat, but he loves to go outside, but he's really scared. Like he's super sketchy when we let him outside. We also have an outdoor cat and they don't really get along. So we wanted to have a way that he can still go outside, but it's his space and there's a separation between him and the outdoor cat. So we decided to make an outdoor cat enclosure and he absolutely loves it. It was right under $80 to make the entire enclosure. So that is really inexpensive considering how large this space is. Also, I did choose a winner for the giveaway for last week's video. I did a random number and I just counted down the comments and this is the winner. So congratulations. I will be messaging you to get all of your information to send out your sunglass holder. And with all that being said, definitely stay tuned to the end to see Armani's reaction. It is pretty funny to see how he reacts to the enclosure. First I'm going to measure the area. I ended up doing it 83 inches high, 82 inches long, and 30 inches wide. I'm first starting off with nine two by two by eight foot strips and I'm cutting them into three 78 inch four 83 inch and six 30 inch pieces. You could have this cut at a hardware store if you don't have a saw at home. So here are all of my finished pieces. I have three 30 inch pieces on either side, so six total. I have three 78 inch pieces for the front and then two 83 inch pieces for either side. And then you will need some type of fencing. And now we're gonna go ahead and assemble it. So I did have Richard help me with this just because the pieces that I'm using are pretty big for me to be doing it by myself. We're first mapping out where the pieces are gonna go. So I am going to pre-drill everything before I screw it in. That way it makes it a lot easier and everything is lined up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start screwing everything together. So as you can see, you just want to pre-drill it until it makes an indention through the other side. And then you want to pre-drill that part as well. And then you go ahead, take your screw and then just drill that right Right through until it's nice and secure. This is how it looks once we finished building the frame. And I already have a roof over this area of my backyard. So if you were interested, they do sell them at the hardware store, really inexpensive. So you can just add one of those right on top as a roof. It does come in different colors. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my fencing. So you wanna take a wire cutter and begin cutting the pieces to size to fit your frame. So I'm going to add the fencing first to the bottom half and then I'm just going to begin stapling it all around the border using a staple gun. So this part does kind of take a while and your hand does cramp up so definitely give yourself time to do this. And I did use a hammer to secure each staple to be sure it was in there as good as possible. And I just went ahead and wrapped the fencing around the entire front and stapled it on all the sides of the wood. And then for the top, I cut it in three small sections because it's kind of hard to hold up the entire thing of wire. So like I said, I just cut them to size. As you can see, this is the first side. So I'm stapling it all around all four edges and then using the hammer to secure each staple. And then I'm going to do the front part and then the other side until the entire thing is enclosed with the fence. I'm standing right here by this wasp. No, I'm not standing by the wasp. You're tripping. Hey, do it for the DIY. All right. Ah! Oh my God. 79, I guess. Huh? I guess. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do the front and the side the exact same way. You can just fill the inside with whatever you would like. I used a palette that I had at home and I just wrapped it with some rope that I also just had on hand and I used the staple gun to secure it on the back side. And I just figured that Armani could use this for a scratch pad. And I also had this spare piece of board as well. So before I added the top part of the fence, I did just secure this to the middle section and I did add some support beams underneath as well so that he could lay out on this top part. So that is all for my DIY outdoor cat enclosure. As you can see, he can easily get in and out just by jumping through the window. I did also add inside some cat safe plants. So I have marigold, rosemary, and I have seeds in the back that will be cat grass.
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. An hour prep of killing the wasps. Wasps. Psst, psst, psst. Where? Ah! Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, it's behind you. Ah! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah! <laughs> the stomping on them. I think that was the last one. No. There's one. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Did you get it? No, I missed. Oh, no way. What? Look at this trooper. Look at him. Yeah. Kill him. I'm yeah. looking out. Yeah, I am. You're horrible. <laughs> oh, there it is. This one's freaking me out. It's coming straight for me. This is why we never get anything done. I know. Oh my god. Two wasps on that nest right there. And then there's one, two more nests behind it with no wasps on it. Hot box! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where'd they go? They didn't come out? No. Oh lord, I'm, I'm super nervous now.